Hey, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and you're watching Backup Baba. I hope you all are doing great and thank you so much uh, for your support and love to my previous videos. So today in this video, we are going to learn how to create a storage pool in Commvault. So without wasting our time, uh, let's move to the Comcell console and there uh, we can see like how to configure a storage pool. So let me log into the console console. So here it is asking for username and password. So in my case, my username is admin. And let's enter the password and click on OK. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, we have successfully logged into the console console. So now uh, we will see how to create a storage pool. So to create a storage pool, so we need to come in the uh, in the left side. And uh, you can see there is a option storage resources. So you need to click on storage resources. Just coming down, come down. So once you come down here, the second last option you will get a storage pool so here you need to right click click on add a storage pool so once you click on add a storage pool you will get multiple options so either you want to uh, integrate the disk library or you want to add cloud library or you want to integrate the comsurf with the tape library so right now we are going to do with the disk so just click on disk so here it's asking for a storage pool name so as i have told you uh, we are going to add a di local disk so we will give a name local disk pool so you can keep any name as so now click on next so here in this page it is asking to configure the storage so in my case uh, agni is my media engine name and it is coming by default here so you can choose your media agent uh, through which you want to uh, integrate your storage. So from this drop down box and click on browse button. So once you click on browse, uh, it will browse uh, your media agent or uh, directories. So here I'm going to select E drive and I will create a directory here uh, with the name disk local disk pool, local disk pool. And click on OK and just select this uh, directory which you have created and click on OK. Now I am going to click on Next. So, in the next page, it is asking if you want to enable deduplication on this storage pool. So, if you if you want to enable the deduplication, you just need to provide the path uh, from here. But uh, in my case, I am going to disable the deduplication option and clicking Next. So coming to next page, so here it is asking for the advanced setting for the primary copy. So basically, it is asking you uh, to enable the software encryption on the data. So you have to ask with your customer like through which software algorithm uh, they want uh, the data should get encrypted. So in my case, I will choose AES with key length with uh, 256 bits. So this uh, you have to verify with the customer. If you go with the market uh, standard, so AS256 bits is the recommended one. Now clicking next. So this page is talking about the review of our selections, which I have done in the previous tabs with the name of the uh, storage pool and the storage path, which we have given and the deduplication which we have not enabled and the software encryption which we have enabled with the AES256 bits. Now we will click on finish. So here you can see a storage pool has been created uh, which we have defined with the name. So once you click on the local disk pool, it will give you 
the library information and you can see the path which we have selected it is showing here uh, again if you go in the library section then also you will get the library information the disk library which we have created in the pool configuration so that's it guys i hope uh, you have liked the content uh, please do not forget to subscribe my channel and please uh, hit the like button and share this video in your connection so that if anyone is looking to learn Commvault, they can get a little idea with the help of these videos. We will meet uh, again in some new videos. So take care and goodbye.